Hi, this is Larry Lelly, and we're here with Yamaha, and this is my All Access 360. You know, I've been playing since I can remember, and it's what I've always wanted to do, and I've been very lucky to be able to do only that. I went to school for music and majored in percussion and jazz drum set, as well as conducting. When I first started playing, I was playing like heavy metal, you know, hair bands, you know, hardcore rock and roll stuff. That was my junior high and high school days. And then when I got into college, I totally focused on jazz. I kind of discovered this whole new world of jazz and reinvented myself. I, I taught myself how to play traditional grip and started going into, you know, total jazz studies. And then I thought I was, that's what I was gonna do, you know, and then I discovered Latin music and I moved to Minneapolis and started playing in the Latin scene um, along with some big bands as well. And then I discovered country music and moved to Nashville. And when I moved to New York first, I started playing with the Mamas and the Papas. Uh, we did a huge world tour, and through the people I met for that, it's kind of led me into the Broadway pits. The first show that was actually my own show was Jekyll and Hyde. And I got that show by subbing at other shows. Uh, when I first moved to town, I met some people and got some lucky breaks. And uh, somebody allowed me to come in and sub for them on a show called Miss Saigon, which was one of the big hits back in the 90s. And luckily my name got around in the circles and I was eventually offered one of my own Broadway shows and that was my first one. And I've been very fortunate to just kind of continue on from show to show with, of course, periods in between where I go back to subbing and freelancing around town. Yeah, the producers. Yeah, that was a great one. Nathan Lane and Matthew Broderick, and it was non-stop comedy, high octane. It was, you know, basically two and a half hours of solid playing, huge production numbers, weird dance kicks, all sorts of chaos. It was very high pressure and high volume and high stress, <laughs> but it was really, really rewarding. And it was fun for me to go in there and always try to, to keep the energy the same every single night, even after doing it, you know, for four plus years. Uh, the show Million Dollar Quartet, uh, we just opened in April of 2010, so we're only in a, been running a couple months. But we've been in rehearsal since February, and the unique thing about this show is the cast is made up of all musicians. The musicians and the cast are one and the same. So I'm actually on stage playing a role in this show. Uh, I'm in full costume and everything, and I interact with the other actors, and we all play the instruments instead of like other shows where they have actors on stage and the band and the orchestra is all underneath in the pit. Um, so it's been really fun kind of return to the stage for me. Yeah, we tried to create a, a kit that was very era specific for the 1950s. And so we decided that the tour custom was gonna be the best choice for this, which was a surprise to a lot of people, but it's ended up being exactly perfect for what we needed. It's got all maple shells and rounded edges like they used to make back in the 50s, and the sound is full and warm and round, and it's really huge, actually. And Even the snare drum, I'm using the Tour Custom snare drum as well, and it's been a huge eye-opening surprise for everybody how wonderful these drums sound. So the, the specifics of the kit that we designed for Million Dollar Quartet are also very era specific as far as the sizes and the drums that actually would have been made back then in the 50s. So the drum department helped me design the kick drum, which is a traditional depth, which is 14 inches deep, and whereas most modern bass drums today are quite a bit deeper than that. But 14 was the standard depth back then, and it's 20 inch diameter. And then we did the same on the mounted tom, and it's suspended on a snare drum stand like they would have done back then because they wouldn't have made hardware as sturdy as Yamaha makes these days. So we didn't want to mount it on the bass drum to show that it was a modern kit. We mounted it on a snare stand and cut it down to eight inch depth, which is a traditional jazz depth back then in the 50s. So it's, it looks really perfect you know, for the vintage era look. All right, thanks for watching. This is Larry Lelly with Yamaha All Access 360. Hope you'll come down to the Nederlander Theater here in New York City on Broadway and catch my latest show, Million Dollar Quartet. 